Welcome to beautiful New Hampshire, Concord, the capital. And just about six miles to the east and 12 miles north, where Daniel Webster gave some of his greatest speeches. The NASCAR Bush Series faithful have come in here. They'll see a double header today. The NASCAR Bush Series and the Bush North cars will go 100 miles following. On FX, we'll see the NASCAR Bush Series race 200 miles today on the flat one mile oval of Loudoun, New Hampshire. 80 degree temperature, track temperature 113 degrees, variable light winds, and rain in the distance. Hi everybody and welcome to Loudoun. Mike Joy with Larry McReynolds. Daryl Waltrip has Mother's Day weekend off. Well, we have a flat track uh, that races like a short track, has the length of the super speedway, a 200 mile race that's going to be tough on fuel calculation, but also, Larry, a new rule that's really going to affect the handling of these cars. Yeah, NASCAR made a rule change in the Bush Series this week, and it all has to do with front springs. All year long, you've been hearing Daryl and myself talk about getting the cars on the ground, getting the front ends down. How teams did that was with soft front springs. To do that, you had to have tall front springs, 10 and 3 quarter inches tall, almost as tall as the rear springs. So NASCAR said, okay, your spring cannot be taller than 8 and a half inches in the front of these cars, so that will make them have to put stiffer springs in. Also, they said no rubbers in the front spring because when you put rubbers in springs it makes them stiffer when you travel them so they could put softer springs in so mandated height of springs no spring rubbers in the front of these cars everybody's running stiffer front springs so a little scrambling going on in the garage area this is a homecoming for several of us for me for Dick Bergeron and for the driver we're about to meet Dick Shelburne, Vermont's Kevin LePage. He's a local hometown favorite. He's in the car the team won with last week in Richmond Virginia he has finished as high as third here in this series at New Hampshire how about it? Are you going to take the trophy home? Well, I'll tell you, you know, the guys did a great job preparing this yellow Monte Carlo today, and uh, wouldn't be surprised to see this thing in victory lane like Spencer did last week. Okay, good luck to you. To Jeff Hammond. Thanks, Dick. Rookie Ryan Newman starts in fifth place in his first trip at the Loud New Hampshire. Ryan, what do you think about the track? Really neat racetrack, uh, kind of back to short track style racing. Uh, really great qualifying effort with the Altel Ford, and uh, just want to take the opportunity to say hi to Don Miller back in uh, Mooresville, recuperating a little bit. Good luck today. And we also want to wish Don Miller a speedy recovery. Mike Joy. Thanks, Jeff. Everyone is ready for opening ceremonies here at New Hampshire International Speedway to get our 200-mile NASCAR Bush Series race underway. Let's go trackside. Ladies and gentlemen, again, direct your attention to the start-finish line. Today's invocation will be given by the Reverend Dean Stiles, who is pastor of the United Methodist Churches of Lancaster and Jefferson, New Hampshire. Reverend Stiles. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for the awesome day that you have given us as we gather here today, the first of the 2001 season here at New Hampshire International Speedway. We ask for your protection for each driver who will compete this day and for each member of their crews. May each driver use caution so that all may cross the finish line at the end of the race. We also ask for your blessings upon the Bear family and their commitment to the NASCAR family. In closing, we take a moment to remember those drivers whom we sadly miss this day, but hold near to our hearts. For Adam Petty, Kenny Irwin, Tony Roper, and Dale Earnhardt, they are gone from our presence, but they will remain in our hearts forever until the day that we too will join them in your presence in your heavenly kingdom. Guide, protect, and sustain all who are here today. We pray this in the name of our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now for the Star Spangled Banner, Betsy Gates. What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there 
And here to give the command that will send the field on its way in the CVS Pharmacy 200, presented by Bayer, is our Grand Marshal, Phil Kiao. Gentlemen, start your engines. We're set to go racing in Loudoun, New Hampshire. 200 miles of NASCAR Bush Series action on FX. Coming your way next. Welcome back to New Hampshire International Speedway, the CVS Pharmacy 200 presented by Bayer. It's today's race, and here's the lineup. Kevin Harvick has his third pole of the season. He and series champ Jeff Green in the front row. Steve Park, normally on the Winston Cup, won here in Modifieds and in the Bush North Series. Back in row three, there's rookie Ryan Newman in his first New Hampshire appearance. With veteran Mike Skinner. Kevin LePage in that number one car that won at Richmond last week with Jimmy Spencer. Jimmy stayed home. Kevin was third here in the 98 race. Kenny Wallace won this race in 91 when it was a 300 miler. Mike McLaughlin, a 97 winner, has also won here in Modifieds and Bush North. Greg Biffle, first DNF of his Bush career last week at Richmond. Randy LaJoy, former series champ. This is his homecoming race as well. Jimmy Johnson, he started and finished 13th last year in his only New Hampshire start. Now that 17 is not Matt Kenseth, it's Clay Roberts making his third start of the year. Jay Sauter, he won in the truck series here in his very first start. Kevin Grubb, first Bush start and first top 10 here. Jamie McMurray, his best 2001 finish was 11th back at Daytona. Ashton Lewis, you met earlier, his best finish of the season, 11th at Texas. David Donahue, they painted a bullseye on his car. It's been run into so much this year. I wonder where they got that idea. I believe from old DW. How about Marty Houston? The rookie has competed in two Craftsman Truck Series races here. Another of our young guns, Scott Wimmer, had a strong seventh at Richmond. Bobby Gerhardt, third race this year in the series. First Bush race. Only 37 cars will start. Robbie Faggart, the last one. Mark Green qualified the backup Larry Foyt car, but that was withdrawn. Dick Bergren. As we approach the green flag, know that the drivers in this event are the most courageous athletes to participate in any sport this day. Each understands that last year, over three NASCAR weekends, two of their own lost their lives racing at this track. The drivers understand the danger they face. Today, they will continue in the tradition of racing. They will go on driving as hard and as fast as they possibly can. The courage of these racers deserves notice and applause. These are brave, brave men. Absolutely. Today's race will go 200 laps, just over uh, 200 miles on this speedway. 37 cars, as we mentioned, a short field here at New Hampshire. You notice we put a little mark right here by pit window. Reason we did that, it's a 200 lap event. A year ago, cars could do it on one stop. More horsepower, Winston Cup style engines, Big iffy going that, doing it on one stop this year. A big iffy. A big iffy. We'll see a lot of different strategies. An early caution, maybe a splash and go. Maybe four tires early, two tires later, maybe not. As we look at some of our onboard cameras, we'll have six of them in use today. And we're getting set for the green for 200 miles on what they call the Magic Mile. The New Hampshire International Speedway, Bob and Gary Bear's beautiful speed plant, and green is on. Kevin Harvick doing just what he did yesterday in qualifying and in happy hour. Everybody in the garage area said the two car is the car to watch. They hope they're not watching it from a distance. Things sorted out pretty well single file through the first four cars. Harvick, Jeff Green, Steve Park, and Ryan Newman. They're side by side for fifth entering turn three. Got quite a battle right here. Mike Skinner in the 21. Uh, 
Jason Keller in the 57. Mike Skinner had a fast race car all day yesterday. Qualified six. His throttle was hanging qualifying, he told me this morning. Wow. He said that will get your attention. Mike Skinner, the 21 car. Now, he will not be in that car next week at Nazareth. They're going to put a uh, Bush North driver, Teddy Christopher, in that car for the race on Sunday after the Winston. Trouble down the back straightaway. A crash into the infield tire wall. Now, that's where the road course goes to the outfield. That's the 17 of Clay Rogers, one of two cars involved. As the other is 43. Yeah. Jay yep. Sauter. But those tires are piled there for a reason during the sports car and motorcycle events. They're on the asphalt of turn, uh, what there is turn three, and you see we're across the track to go to the outfield road course section. But it puts us under caution quickly. And now, Larry, let's talk strategy right away. All right, you've only run a couple of laps in those pace laps. Now you got a caution period. Do you splash and go? Well, I think if I'm one of the cars at the very back of the field, yes. But I don't think this is enough laps that will do it. But the thing that will add up in fuel mileage is caution laps. Remember, two caution laps equal one green lap. These guys that was maybe in that 95 lap range, they possibly could do it with enough cautions. Jamie McMurray inside of Rogers. Here comes Sauter. Looks like Jay Sauter in the 43. Something you get here a lot is that late exit off the corner push. The car won't turn. His car just went up into Clay Rogers. This track is so flat, not a lot of banking to help you up off the corner there in turn two. Jeff Hammond? Yeah, I'm down here in the uh, 17 car pit of Clay Rogers. Right now they're trying to move all of their uh, car crash equipment back into the garage area to repair the car. He's finally got the engine started. He'd reported in that the engine would not turn over, thinking they maybe had an engine problem. Now they're starting to settle back down. They've got it running. I guess he'll be coming back out on the racetrack now. Looks like he's going to come back uh, in the ambulance, make a quick trip to the care center, and they'll haul that back to the garage. Jay Sauter going to the garage with a lot of damage to his number 43. Three laps, and already the first caution of the day, Jay Sauter and Clay Rogers tangling off turn two. So we're under yellow in the NASCAR Bush Series on FX. 